Hello Pisces, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well today. Today we're going to be going over what you should be expecting. Sorry, I thought someone was going to come to my door. What you should be expecting for the week of June 24th. Um, <clears throat> this is going to apply to sun, moon, rising, and your tropical, sidereal, or progress chart. You can find that all on astro.com. If this video resonates with you, please let me know in the comments down below. Share it with your friends, with your loved ones, with your family, with your dog, with your neighbor. <laughs> um, and subscribe. I would love it if you could subscribe as well. And if you want to find me on social media, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at SinfulPluto. I'm a lot more active on Twitter than I am on Instagram, if I'm going to be honest, so that's that. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at simplepluto.com. Make sure to read the listing of each, or the description of each listing, because it has most, if not all, of the information that you need to know in terms of just my overall process and how we do things and all of that, okay? All right. So... Pisces, what's in store for you the week of June 24th? Okay. I don't know if that's supposed to be reversed or upright. I have no idea if that's supposed to be a reversed or upright. Fuck. I'm confusion. Because <laughs> I have the Ace of Wands and the, 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 the Knight of Swords, but the Ace of Wands is like tilted, so I have no idea if this is upright or... You know what? I'm just going to reshuffle because, girl, <laughs> if it comes out again, then we'll know it's supposed to be there. Alright, what's in store for Pisces? So we go June 24th. Yo, this shit just keeps on coming out like sideways. Okay. So we have the Two of Swords reversed and the Knight of Cups. So clearly you're distraught over some sort of offer. Um, there's a decision that I have to make with the Two of Swords reversed, but it's almost like you don't really want to take off the blindfold. You don't want to have to face the reality of the situation. Maybe you don't want to leave your bubble. You don't want to leave your, your fantasy world. You know, you don't want to have to make practical or realistic decisions, if that kind of makes sense. You kind of just want to remain in your, in your fantasy world, in your bubble. But I do see an offer, and I do think it's a good one. I do think it's a good one. It's a really good offer. It could be related to work, with the Page of Pentacles here. It could be related to work. So it's like... Why don't you want to make this decision? There's a reason why you don't want to make this decision. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Here, we could be dealing with an Aquarius. And then we have the Six of Swords, which is a transition. And then we have Death Reversed. Oh. Tower. Magician Reversed. Okay. So maybe you don't want to make this decision because you don't think that you're competent or well-skilled enough for it, if that kind of makes sense. It feels like maybe you just don't think that you're good enough for it. And maybe that's why you're trying to avoid making this this, this offer, this why you're trying to avoid this offer, why you're trying to offer off why you're trying to avoid this decision because with the magician reversed, it's like you don't you're scared of having it. Like you're scared of this opportunity because you don't know if you can handle it. But I assure you, Pisces, you, very, you can't handle it. You always can. You're so adaptable and so in tune with the collective energy. Like you, It's just so easy for you to mold you. <laughs> like, it, it, you know, you have a lot more power than you really think. And I know that everyone kind of shits on Pisces for being so emotional and stuff. But you really, you got it all. You got it all. You got everything that you need. You could be dealing with, with a Sagittarius or a Gemini or a Virgo by chance because of the magician here. But, um, yeah, no, I, you really got it all. You really do. 
So with the Page of Pentacles, this to me talks, not only does this talk about like you having a really wonderful work ethic and you being really excited and like wanting this job opportunity, like I really do feel that you want to accept this offer, but something is holding you back. Maybe an Aquarius is holding you back, but I also think, you know, maybe, or maybe it's a Sagittarius, Virgo, a Gemini who's holding you back, but I think this is just you. I think this is you. A lot of it, I think this is you and your fear of being incompetent or not being good enough or maybe not uh, meeting the bar, maybe not, maybe not reading, not meeting the, the expectations. Hold on, I want to see why is, why, why is Pisces, why are you so scared to make this decision? Why don't you want to face this decision? Why are you so like mentally, like challenged or conflicted by this decision? Because it, it feels very good. It seems very, very good. The only thing that I could really say, especially with the death card reverse in the tower, is that you know what changes would come your way if you were to make this choice. And maybe you're trying to do the Taurus thing where you remain in what's familiar to you. Yeah. Okay. So I have the Page of Swords here. The page of cups reversed and then the wheel of fortune. So this to me talks a little bit about immaturity because we do have two pages. It talks about just being very young and especially with the page of cups, like I said, you know, you're stuck in your own dream world and you're scared to do the thing that brings you down to reality. But I think that with the page of swords, you have all of the intellectual tools. Like you're a lot smarter. You're so much more smarter than you give, than you give yourself credit for. You're definitely a lot smarter than you give yourself credit for. And I mean, like, look at the owl. Look at the owl in the Wheel of Fortune. That's you. You know, you can tie up any sort of loose ends that you need to tie up. And, you know, it's just, it's your time. And I feel like you're a lot stronger. You have a lot more wisdom that you need than you did in the past that can help you make this decision. And I think help you kind of exit uh, out of any sort of, like, maybe karmic situation that you've been in for a while. But I, 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 for some, I feel like maybe someone has been like kind of demeaning towards you and maybe that's why you have like, okay, so let's say the magician reversed is someone else, right? Maybe it's a Sagittarius, Virgo or Gemini or just anyone else in general, you know? This person is very manipulative and they get what they want, but they do it in a really conniving and just terrible way. Um, they come off, you know, really charming and optimistic and enthusiastic and like, you know, like just very, um, they come off very charming and maybe you wouldn't suspect it at first, but they definitely have planted seeds to make you feel that you're not competent enough because maybe they're jealous of you and maybe they want the opportunity. And so they make you feel like you're not good enough or that you're too young or that you're too immature or that you're not smart enough. And, you know, kind of, oh my God. The way that I keep on imagining it is like someone literally like sedating another person to keep them away from reality. Does that does that make sense to you? Like like sedating them and like keeping them in like in that in that weird limbo state, you know, like keeping them conscious enough that they're alive, but so completely out of the loop, so completely out of the loop. And I feel like that's what this person is doing to you. If that's not something that you're doing to yourself. But I feel like there's a lot of changes coming your way and you really do have to maintain hope that you're going to receive this opportunity because you do have the potential for it. You have to, like, you have your North Star. Keep on following your North Star no matter how much you doubt yourself, no matter how mentally conflicted you feel. You have to have faith and you have to have the universe. And it could maybe it feels like, you know the spotlight is on you and maybe that's what overwhelms you and maybe that's what makes this person feel really jealous of you. But mm -mm. this is your this is the time of transition with the six of swords. This is definitely a time of transition, and of course, it's understandable why you would want to resist that and why you don't want to go through that because it's a really vulnerable state to be in. I mean, if you look at the death card, you know, there's a bird completely stripped of everything. It's literally just bones. It's all skin and bones. So it's like, of course, you're scared of the transition because you have to go through the dark times to get through the rainbow. But 
it's time. It's really time for you to break down all of your foundations, to break down everything that you've known so that you can rebuild something better. So that, I mean, we have so many rainbows here. We literally have so much color here. You have the opportunity to make something beautiful. You really do. You have the opportunity to, look, three of wands. You have so many opportunities coming your way. You have so many ways to expand. There are so many things that you could be doing, and I don't want you to get, I don't want this to get the best of you, whether it's you or someone else. I don't want this person to get the best of you and to discourage you, because this to me can also just be someone who is kind of like, rather than having rose-tinted glasses, it can be someone who has like battle-torn glasses. So they see everything from an incredibly pessimistic point of view, and I need you to not do that. I need, I don't need, I don't want you to take on this mentality because you have a lot more power than you believe, and I think that you need to definitely restructure your mind and rebuild a stronger foundation for your mindset, and you need to keep on having hope. You absolutely need to keep on having hope with a star. And it might feel like the spotlight is on you, but that's good. You might feel vulnerable, but that's good. Because that gets you through change. That gets you through this transition. And you'll benefit from it. Because we have the Wheel of Fortune. You'll be closing off a cycle and you'll be opening up a really new, a really good one. You'll be opening up, opening up a really wonderful cycle for yourself. And you'll be able to tie up the loose ends. I feel like in a way, like... The universe is giving you control of fate. Oh, didn't I say in the Scorpio video that the Scorpio is like trying to get out for Pisces? Okay. Yes. Scorpio. You're dealing with a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're discouraging you. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I forgot. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Scorpio who's trying to discourage you and like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And like trying to take what you, ha what you have and like trying to take away all of your success. But the thing is, is that while they're the ones trying to play God, even though they're not, the universe is literally, <laughs> it's funny because the universe is like, no, like you're not God to Scorpio, you know, they're, t they're like, no, like you can't have this shit, you know, this is the power that you cannot have because you're trying to take it forcefully. The universe is like, hey, you want to take control of your own fate? You want to take control of your own karma? Because look at the owls right here. Look at the owls. That's what you're trying to do, and it's upright. So this, to me, is like good intentions. That, to me, is with good intent. That's you. That's definitely you. Oh, that's so crazy. That's hilarious, dude. Yo, Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio isn't going to win. No matter how much they try, they're not going to win. You have too much potential. You have way too much power, and you cannot let them... Uh, you can't let them get the best of you, honestly. Because you have, they, like, the universe is like, hey, you can take the reins for a little bit. You can control how things go. You know, you're part of the collective. You're part of the collective energy. You vibrate with the universe, man. So you just gotta go for it. Like, do what you gotta do. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, my God. Yo, that's what you get, man. That's what Scorpio gets for... For really trying to like force it, you know, like really being like, yo, like give me that shit, give me that power. Like they're so power hungry. That's what that is. Damn. That's hilarious. Oh, how the tables turn. Alright, well, Pisces, that's all I'm gonna get for you today. Um, don't get so discouraged. You have a lot of potential and there are a lot of changes coming your way, and it might be a little bit intense and you might feel very overwhelmed. And when you do feel overwhelmed, make sure. Make sure to rest, to, you know, go into hermit mode whenever you need to. Not too much, but go into hermit mode so that you can recharge and revitalize your energy, okay? Okay. Excuse me. So, that's it for you, Pisces. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon.